everyone. I've been asked if I would share the kind of blues I use when I'm sketching. I love blues and I, I use a big range of them. This is one, a recent one, of I did for Virtual Ribble of Berlin Cathedral and you can see that I've actually used I've drawn it with a glitter pen and I've used watercolour pencils, Caran d'Ache and also a Posca turquoise pen. Now this is another one, recent, and you can see what a difference the zing of the blue makes in a sketch. This was the co-op supermarket near home which was a pub and their signage, their logo, is all this lovely sky blue and it's picked up everywhere and also in the sky. So, very, uh, just a few minutes to share the kind of blues I use and what they do. Here they are. First of all, watercolour pencils. I love pale watercolour pencils and mostly Caran d'Ache. If you press on gently, you don't get much of an effect, but pressing on hard, you get beautiful ranges of colours and the intermix. These are all Caran d'Ache and I tend to buy them from Jackson's UK online individually so that I can choose my own colours and I have a big collection of pale blues, pale yellows and pale greys and whites and I like to put turquoise in with the sky blue. Different colours of turquoise, that's slightly darker. Now these are Holbein, a new one I bought because they're on sale in Jackson's. I like them because the colours are lovely and the, the barrel of the pencil is thicker. They're not quite as creamy but they are rather nice. Look at that beautiful turquoise but you have to really press on to get the feeling you want. That's another one of them. That's how to get the brightness and that's a dark turquoise as well. Now when I'm doing shadows and taking something out into the distance I often work on top with of dark colours with a darker blue and oh that's a black sorry sea blue and if you put blue in shadows it makes them much more interesting than just plain blue now this is my treasure. This is a continental chalk marker and it's greasy. You can see the name Batone Cray Marcador de Tizza. It twists up like this and watch what it does. Oh, just fantastic covers a big area very very quickly makes it really zing but you have to wait until the end of a sketch to use this because you can't draw on top of it now next we have the Peter Paupers I discovered these some years ago in Florida in Barnes and Noble and those of you who've done my workshops will be uh, used to seeing these they are wonderful, designed for children, but the white as a blender works beautifully. The skies, I wouldn't be without these. Watch what happens. It's here. There's the blue, the light blue. Now the dark blue. I think they come in a pack of eight. There's the dark blue. Now watch what happens when you blend with the white. Peter Pauper watercolour crayons go round and round like that. And look at the look at the atmosphere you can get. It blends in with the just wonderful. 
wonderful. Peter Pauper. Now, almost there. This was a gift. I don't like Poscas generally, truthfully, but this one works. It's a bright turquoise. It's got quite a thick, thick nib. And it was a present from a lovely sketcher friend in Delaware before COVID hit. And watch what this does. And look at that. I have two. Lovely for skies, for edging buildings. Makes a beautiful, clear line. And I also like Molotow markers and I love the blue, but I've used them so much. Molotow, one for all, acrylic markers, but I've used them so much I need to order some more. But the blue is a lovely, fresh blue and I like the bright red as well. And lastly, going back to this drawing I did of the Berlin Cathedral, this is the glitter pen that I drew it with. And it's a, a light blue glitter. Here we are. And you can buy glitter pens all over the place. But really rather nice to draw with a blue glitter rather than fountain pen if you've got something happening in the distance. And you can also colour in areas. That's it. Hope that's useful. Thank you.